Here they come. Good. Highball straight, number 56. Block. Entire line. Impassable. Hold on, train. Hit me, Dan Thorne. Redford all along the main line. Oh, why don't somebody get me, Dan Thorne? He's the only man can handle this. I'm trying to get him, trying to get him. Have my paperwork ruined again because he's out tramping the yard when he should be here to give me authority. What's coming off around here? Did you guys play railroad anymore today? There's a landslide, the new cut. The entire division is held I up by the peak of traffic. My schedule's all ripped to pieces and we've had to hold up the limited. Hold up the Olympians? Are you off your nut? Tell her to come through. Well, uh, half a mountain is laid on that track. I'll right? clear the track. Don't stand there looking at me. Lift those red boards and keep traffic moving. You! Blast the boiler room to blow the whistle and get the red crew out. Okay. You, phone that Ryan. I won't be home to dinner tonight. Give me a piece of that. You office guys. Put the Olympian in the hole. <laughs>
this way, over this way. Oh, Mr. Thorne, this is an extremely dangerous spot. Right here. Get over there. I'll see you later. All right, Say, Dan. 
I was wondering if I could lay off on the next run. Why, Tom, you ain't put in for anything like that in 20 years. Well, you see, well, I... Oh, it's the wife. Ain't she no better yet? She's worse, Dan. Much worse. So you got everything you need? You got a good doctor? Yes, but... I'm just a little frightened, Dan. You go right back to her. Don't you let me see you around these yards till she's absolutely all right. Thanks. Go on, go on. Hey, you know, Dan, if anything happens to Tom, he'll hit the booze again, sure. He knows better than that. Why, I'd have to rule him off the road. But you know what he used to be. That's right. Chuck, keep an eye on him. If anything happens, let me know quick. Oh, sure, dear. You're, you're, you're always thinking of me, ain't you? <laughs> sure, no man had a better daughter than I have. The birds will hear you. Yeah, 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 this, uh, look here, will you? The Donahue brothers are giving away a kitchen table and two chairs to every newly married couple this month. Now, that's something for you to look forward to. Well, that's quite an inducement, isn't it? It is. Uh, I must show this to Dan. Oh, don't you dare. Let, let go. Let go. Why shouldn't I show it to him? He's a man that understands. Where is he? I haven't seen him today. What time is it? Oh. Oh, uh, there you are. Another minute you'd be late. Not a chance. You wouldn't think I'd be late with you waiting for me, Mary, would you? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm going to enter a complaint. Somebody's getting a lot of attention around here besides me. Oh, uh, sure, go on with you. You wouldn't be jealous of your own father, would you? <laughs> wouldn't I? Say, hey, I'm likely to be jealous of anybody. What's that? Oh, yes. Hey, Mary, I want you to do something for me. I want you to go down to the roundhouse. I got a new man down there. He's a floater, and his name is Doyle. Give him this bundle and this note and see what he does, huh? Now, Dan, I wish you wouldn't bother your head about those tramps. You know, it never turns out right. Mary, a fella can go wrong a dozen times, but if you're right once, it makes up for all the rest. Will you do it? Well, all right. Well, I got here just in time, didn't I? You did that. I did it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute, what do you mean shoot myself? We got a 
kind of talked this over, haven't we? You uh, live here permanently? Yes. Lady, give me them overalls. said that she's a lucky girl to be marrying a railroader and a fine-looking man, too. Hey, hey, stop throwing them apples. <laughs> Give me a match, will you? But you are, Dan. You are. Uh, maybe uh, not exactly handsome, but... Uh, no, no. But handsome is as handsome does. <laughs> Not exactly handsome. Why, my pan looks like a street before they laid the pavement down. You wouldn't find Mary saying a thing oh. like that. <laughs> oh, you're going to make a happy den. I never failed to do anything I wanted to yet. You sure haven't, boy. You're always kingpin amongst us. Even in the old days. And ever since I got my smash, and you started to take care of Pipe me and down. Mary... Pipe down. Why, you're more than just a man to us. You... Hey, stop it. You, 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 you have me blushing. Maybe I didn't say the right words, boy, but... You know how I feel, don't you? You don't owe me a thing. If it had been the other way around, you'd have done the same thing to me. Sit still, lad. I'll see you with it. Yeah, this is the right place. Come on in. Well, how do you feel? Okay, here. No, thanks. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Meet Ed Ryan. We live here together. Ed, this is Larry Doyle. Hi. Glad to meet you. You better put in some fuel. We just took off the nose bag ourselves, but there's plenty of grub on the stove yet. And before you do that, maybe you better go upstairs and clean up a little. I left some clothes out for you. And when you're decent, why, come right on down. Thanks. I guess I need him at that. Go on. It's uh, to the left. Hilda. Yeah? Set another place on the table and keep supper hot on the stove, will you? Yeah, me too. All right. Is that the uh, boomer engineer you were talking about? Yeah, that's the kid. Should have seen him talk back to me. Try to fight me and him two days away from his last square meal. He's a game kid. I know that kind. They wind up in a jail or a general manager's job. Yeah. In a jail, most likely. I never saw one of those floaters yet that panned out right. Ain't you? No, I haven't. Well, you're looking at one right now. Say, if I hadn't got kicked in the pants by a couple of old rails like you, I'd have been a floater yet. That kid's going to make a good hoghead. Say, what's happened to Mary? Is she coming down? <laughs> She's upstairs primping up for you. Oh, it's you. What's 
the idea? I live here. That's a good idea. Well, aren't you going to say you're glad to see me? Well, I will say you look a little better. And of course you're glad to see me. <laughs> if you insist, of course I'm glad to see you. Of course you're glad to see me. seems to brighten up this tough old railroad yard and, and it sort of keeps me from going off my nuts sometimes. You know, I don't know if I could go through with it if I didn't look forward to seeing you. Hey, what do you guys think you're doing down there, playing ping pong? Two digits by this company's meant to work with.
guess I don't need to tell you how I feel about you, Mary. Dan, I think you've been wonderful. Do you want to see me? Well, hello, kid. How are you? Yeah. I've got something. I had not to take this from you. I want to be moving on. I don't think I'll ever be happy around here. <laughs> what do you mean, happy? You're going to stick here because I tell you, see? I guess you know what I want to say. Oh, well, don't say it. Hello, hello, Dan. Say, this is Chuck. Say, old Tom Johnson's wife died this morning. Yeah. He's on the loose. He's in that joint down by the lower yards. I did what I could, but after she passed away, I couldn't hold him. Okay, Dan. I'll keep it to myself. Mary, I'm sorry. I've got to believe you. I've got a tough call, and Dan, I've got to Dan, you'll be go. back in time for the party tonight, won't you? Party? What party? The old-timers' picnic. By golly, I forgot all about it. But I can't go anyway, Mary. Oh, you have to go, Dan. No, I can't. This is very important. I got it. You can go with Larry. No. No, I want to go with you. No, 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 no. Now, listen, Mary. This is very, very... Now, you haven't got much more time to dress. You better... And say, Larry, there you are. You can be celebrating your new rating and, and help me out at the same time, huh? And I'll, I'll try to drop in later. Huh? That's fine, that's fine. Well, so long, so long. I guess that settles it. I guess it does. Do you want to go with me? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please to the next feature on the program. That mighty spectacle presented by our own boys and on our own engines. A tug of war between two colossal moguls of the run.
stopped again today. <clears throat> Scram! The hospitality of this place is absolutely appalling. Friends can have a drink together, huh? Yeah, but you're the boss of this here division. You've got to think of the railroad. Well, for that matter, you're an engineer. You don't think a couple of drinks is going to hurt your throttle hand, huh? Come on, let's make a night of it. It's no use, Dan. I'm through. She's gone. She's all that I had. I'm through. I gotta quit, I tell you. I'm gonna quit. Quit, huh? I never thought I'd hear Tom Johnson say a word like that. Are you turning yellow? No, Dan, no. Well, what else would you call it, you quitter? Oh, but you don't understand. Yes, I understand. Your heart's broke because your wife's gone. But do you think you're going to help matters with that stuff? Now, we're railroad men. we got to keep the schedule. What right have we got to drink? Holding a throttle. Running a train with lives depending on us. No, we got to keep them trains moving. That's our religion, Tom. That's our life. Light, don't it? And that soft bristle of the river. I never heard you talk like that before, Larry. Well, why shouldn't I? Don't you suppose I've got feelings?
that was uh, young Larry Doyle's whistle, wasn't it? Yes. He's taking the general manager's car and the dynamometer back to the yard. Hmm. He hasn't been around here much since the old timers' uh, party. No. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dan Thorns worked wonders in that boy, Mary. Well, I think Larry deserves a little credit himself. No. No. Dan Thorne was responsible. Dan Thorne, Mary. He's a great man. I know. You needn't worry, Dad. I'm going to marry him.
See you later on. Yeah. Joe, I want to talk to you about those new hogs we're bringing in.
Mary Joan. Oh. Oh. oh, I can't go through with it, Larry. I can't, I can't. You've got to go away with me. You can't marry him. You know that, don't you? Don't you? Oh, Larry, let's go away now. Tonight, before he knows or guesses. No, I've got to talk it out with him. Oh. I've got to tell him. You can't talk anything out with him. He'd kill us. Or, or maybe you'd kill him. Either way would be worse than crazy. Oh, I'm no good doing this to Dan Thorne. Don't you think it, it, it hurts me? He's taken care of us ever since I was a kid. But I can't love him that way. He'd know in the end and would hurt him more. He's iron and steel and fire. He's not flesh and blood like you and me. This is something greater than railroads. Greater than him. Yes, I guess it is. You're right. You've just time to flag the express for Chicago. Hurry, dear, and pack your things. Thank you. 
That's no use, Murray. It's operated from the tower. It's no use. This thing's like a vice. And I'm only going to get what I deserve, I guess. Oh, no, no, Larry, no. Now, Murray, get off the track. No, I won't leave you. Please, Murray, get away. No. Hey, Mary, please go on away. Get off the track, please. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Dennis, go ahead, Dennis. All right, I got it coming to me. Doctor. It's bad. But, Doctor, you've got to save him. There must be something. Only a brain surgeon with complete modern equipment can help him. There's nothing like that this side of Chicago. He can't live more than five hours. But our fastest run to Chicago is seven hours. And we haven't got a through train on the schedule till this afternoon. The only chance is to get him to Chicago in five hours. Gates right now. 180. Put it up to 200. Okay. Oh, gee, it's tough. There must be something we can do. Not a thing. It's a six hour record run. It can't be done. I can do it. What? I can do it. Why don't you realize you couldn't keep that engine on the rails going 100 miles an hour all the way to Chicago? It can't be done. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. Maybe it can. Put that in my special. Give it right away over everything. You bet. In that cab. Look here. This means sidetracking everything on the way. The Olympian, the Pioneer, the whole timetable. Why, this will cost a fortune. And all for one man. For one man? You don't seem to understand. This isn't only Dan Thorne. It's every railroad man everywhere. Here. Hold everything east on the division. Okay. Hit me away, Burton, and hit on the wire at once. All right. Red Ford is far east of Markham City. All right. Yes. Hey, give me that. Give me that.
to be done. Come here, Hill. This is the last time you'll ever ride this road. Uh, if it's any news to you, it's the last time I'll ever ride any road. Now, uh, come on.
Oh, Dan. Don't look at me like that. It's all right, Mary. It's all right. You don't understand, Dan. I've come back to you for always. I understand. I understand. No, Dan, no. I mean it. I'm never going to leave you again. The other one, a mistake. Hello, kid. Thanks, Dan, for all you've done for me. For you. You didn't think I was going to see the limited wreck, did you? bad about Dan Thorn, ain't it? I hear he's all true. And he used to be a nice fella, too. Come on, get the lid out of your feet. Or I'll come out there and knock the... This ain't no smoking room, there's a railroad. All true, is he? <laughs> 